Good morning, it's August 24th, 2023. And I found something very curious earlier this morning. Let's take a look. I was looking at Google Maps trying to follow along about a story from a woman who works in the southern end of Lahaina, almost where exactly where the end of Front Street is and the Highway 30 picks up. Highway 30 on the south end of Lahaina can take you down away from Lahaina and up around the rest of the island. It's like a big loop. Keeping in mind that that part of Maui is actually a small peninsula itself, at least the way Michiganders who live on one of two peninsulas define peninsula. I digress. Let's move on. I was on. getting a little frustrated with Google Maps on a cell phone with a cracked screen and trying to get a good idea of where Highway 30 goes south and how it traverses the rest of the island. So I tried tried to pull out and see a larger picture of the island with Highway 30 still marked. And it was having difficulty, as I said. So then I thought to myself, well, let me just take a really big shot. And this is what I found, what you're looking at. I already had a story in mind that I was going to bring you this morning, and I was formulating that story. So to get a really big shot, I tried to show the route between Los Angeles, California and um, Maui and, and, and Google didn't like that request. Those of you with sharp eyes will notice that I have the wrong transportation icon selected. I have the walking icon selected and you certainly cannot walk from California to Hawaii. However, that's the way I normally look at things, and especially when I'm doing research on something like the Lahaina Fire and how people were able to leave if they could. They'd be walking. So I tried it again with uh, public transportation. That would include airports. Last time I checked, and that's the way Google Maps is set up, guess what? I'll cut to the chase and tell you that I tried a route from LAX to Maui. I tried a route to L from LAX to Honolulu and so forth. And Google is confused and can't seem to find a route there. Fair enough. I have never seen this happen in all the times that I've searched Google Maps. Usually when I'm searching Google Maps, I want either a walking route or a driving route. And I get annoyed when they offer me, you know, flight information and all this other stuff. This time with this search, it was different. So then I went to the airlines and thought, you know, let me triple check I tried um, United Airlines and their website on my phone, just they weren't happy together. So then I tried Southwest Airlines and this is what I found. You can leave LAX and arrive at Kaului Airport in Maui. And this is what Hawaii.gov has to say about that. You can go and there is a mask mandate, which I think is a good thing uh, that after what we've experienced the last couple of years, kind of common sense. I promised you guys I would keep these short and we're already over four minutes, but I have to bring you this story. This is Captain Mario Ferrara. He and other boat captains, as well as friends, family, and associates have been running their boats from the surrounding area and islands to on August 8th rescue people who were in the water to avoid the fire and then from then on they have been running kind of a renegade pirate operation where they're bringing supplies to the people and delivering them on the beaches because they can't get into the harbors and they're actually doing something that's illegal. 
all the goods that they're bringing to the island of Maui for the people of Lahaina are donations. And if you don't remember his name, if you don't remember anything else, remember the boat captains. Pray for them that they have plenty of fuel. Their boats don't break down. They're not caught by a Coast Guard or the Navy or anybody else patrolling. They're literally saving lives. And in a situation where people can't find FEMA and there's no Red Cross central location where you can register, the people of Lahaina and Maui and the surrounding islands are filling the gap. Channel 3's news banner, the organization who did this original report, has been up there the whole time. So under Title 17, Section 107, the Fair Use Doctrine, both Arizona family and I can use it. Now, I want to give a special thanks to AZ Family on YouTube for posting the news report. Without them, I never would have seen it, and I couldn't bring it to you. And to that end, if you have a need or if you want to donate, there is a website where they will match your donations with your with the needs of the people. MauiFLG.org. Go register. Great news. MauiLFG.org is mobile friendly. You can do it from a cell phone. You don't need a laptop. You don't need a desktop. You can do it from anywhere you can get a cell signal. If you don't have your cell phone, ask somebody to help you and let you register. And even better news, when I loaded this shot to take a screenshot for you, they had an install app on banner on the top. I'll continue to list help resources in the description of these videos and post stories for you on my community wall. But if you have the ability to install this app and get help and stay in touch with LFG, MauiLFG.org yourself, that's way better than you depending on me. That's all I got for you this morning. I got to go. You got to go. We have things to do. God bless you. Keep in touch. I'll see you real soon.